welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a toaster and for that I 3D printed these parts. You will find a link for this uh, 3D print in the info box below. I am using my silver ink and I just had to clean up a drop that I made here. Um, but these small parts here I am uh, painting them all silver. That is these two small parts here. I am going to speed up this painting process a tiny bit because we all know how it is to paint. Uh, the only thing I'm painting a bit different is this little toaster itself. I am making sure that the two holes here are covered in the silver paint. And then I'm just uh, painting this kind of strip that is over the top of the machine. I'm painting the knob as well, even though that I'm going to paint it black later. And I'm just taking the ends of these pins here, because I think they're dry now. Let's do that. Now I'm just leaving it to dry for a bit longer, and then I'm coming back with my black and making the edge here where uh, the silver turns to white, or the white to silver. I'm doing this on both sides of the toaster and I'm also painting the little knob or button for the toaster. I leave it to dry for a longer time before I continue with gluing in the parts that we need to glue together. I am taking these long pieces and the thin end of them I am going to push through the holes here. So I'm just placing it in and pushing it through the holes like you see here. Taking some super glue, just dabbing a tiny bit on it and then putting this little white part on top and making sure it sits correct just like this and then it will work. Don't glue anything else than these two small pins together with the end piece. I have made these small uh, electrical plugs and I'm just gluing one of them to the cords and then I'm just gluing the cord into the toaster and that's all there is. This little electric plug is something special I made for my things and I'm sharing all my files with you but not this one. I am keeping this all to myself. Um, so if you want one you either have to make one yourself or um, figure out another way to do it. I know there is a few ideas for how to make a plug out there online. Um, I'm really sorry about this, but I have to keep this one for myself. This is a working toaster. Well, uh, it's not heated, but uh, you can pop out the bread with this little uh, thing here. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting.